Hello YouTube people, let's talk about this Pagani Design Chronograph Sport. So first of all, what kind of materials this watch is made of? And it's made of metal and ceramic bezel and sapphire crystal and all under 100 euros. Incredible. Materials alone for under 100 euros. Amazing. Let's check if it's actually sapphire. So let's take this measuring device. Let's take this Casio sapphire as um, this Casio sapphire as control unit. Yeah, great. Let's take this Invicta Pro Diver. Nothing. Let's take this Pagani design. So you see it's sapphire crystal great now speaking about this uh, watch how it looks like from the first impre impressions until now it still feels and looks very luxurious very fancy very sharp looking watch and everything about it i don't really see any flaws i don't find any flaws any imperfections everything is done so nicely i can't complain about absolutely anything everything is finished so well and okay let's move on and let's talk about those hour and minute hands they have very tiny black line in the middle of them which is separated by white line of loom and they look incredible well at first it kind of got me i thought uh, for example, our hand and minute hand are made of two separate uh, metal pieces and I thought that black, black line is actually hollow, but no, it's just a paint. It still looks absolutely incredible. Speaking about uh, the loom, as I mentioned it, well, the loom is pretty bad. It's as bad as Invicta Pro Diver, but I'm not get giving this watch negative points for bad loom because loom on this watch is applied in such a nice way that it doesn't destroy the design of the watch nor the minute or hour hands nor the hour marks everything is done very tastefully and nice quite the opposite of Casio edifice which i have reviewed several videos ago it also had very bad loom but it was applied in a very bold fashion and in a very bold way and it was not functioning and so that was very strong and negative for me but this one even though it's just you know also isn't really functioning i'm not giving any negative points because it doesn't destroy the design so all good and it kind of even looks good on hour and minute hands this tiny little white line looks pretty good another thing i would like to mention is well why have i bought the black because well first of all i like black better how it looks like and i was afraid about the size i thought this is gonna be a little bit too big on my hand it's gonna look too big so i optioned out for black so it doesn't look that big and uh, weirdly enough, if you look at this date window, well, date window is white. The bezel is black, the face is black, and the date window is white. So it, I would say it's a little bit controversial because if you have difficulty seeing small things, uh, date window being white is it's better than black. It's easier to see. So that's that's good. But I would personally prefer it to be black. So it's not a big deal, but you know, black I believe would look a little bit better. So, and another thing you see these uh, silver rings uh, on the face, three silver rings. They look absolutely wonderful. So sharp, so nice. And look, I just got the right angle look at the black uh, circles inside 
those three silver rings. You see they are a little bit curved. These little black circles are a little bit curved and the black dial around these silver rings also a little bit curved and slopes in into those silver rings. It's like if you can't see I'll try to explain you. It's like it was all even and those places where silver silver rings are applied are like pushed in and all this black material around those silver rings just curves in and those black circles have also little curves and at certain degree degree of light they look so nice so incredibly nice it's not like flat piece of something some kind of material and cut out place those silver rings no it's it has all curves it's like it looks so detailed so much attention to detail it's i like i haven't seen a watch under a hundred euros that has such an attention to detail on the face it's like it's incredible and these silver rings have some have those small grooves around them they are not just plain they have small grooves and man <laughs> everything looks so nice i mean i hope you can see on the camera but like i've watched a lot of youtube videos a lot of pictures and i do this every time before buying anything basically i do my research i and i haven't noticed this kind of curvature of that black shiny dial but when i took it out of the box in and look at it in person man it's like completely different watch it looks so much better in person like most watches to be honest but this one especially you can't really see that in pictures or in video sadly so if you are doubting yourself about buying this watch not sure if it looks great it looks wonderful it looks absolutely wonderful this watch is just incredible so moving on next thing let's talk about these pushers and the crown well the crown is just absolutely perfect as well it's big it's grippy it's very easy and very pleasant to use like you take take this crown unscrew this and it pooped, pops out and when it pops out you can see there is black uh, rubber gasket inside so it's sealed nice and setting the time setting the date everything feels so tight so nice it's not like you have to turn a little bit for those hands to start moving everything feels very nicely connected it, it feels great and this thread of the crown it catches the crown so nicely and so easy to screw in i didn't need to lubricate this crown everything was just perfect straight out of the box simply wonderful and now let's speak about those pushers those pushers i don't know if they have rubber gaskets or no i i don't know i haven't uh, disassembled this watch <laughs> yet and they also are screw in pushers and the thread on the pushers is so good i mean look i'll try to show you it feels like a toy look one finger just one finger it kind of they spin so freely that if i tap with my finger they spin several times on on themselves that's how freely they spin and it and yet they feel they still feel tight it's very great mechanical feel screwing in and unscrewing these pushers like it feels done very very to very good tolerances i, I must say and about the function of these pushers when you click them in they feel absolutely wonderful as well it's like 
it's like one of those uh, toys where you can just have in your hand and keep clicking. They, they have a lot of clicks on all, all the sides and like to just toy for office to reduce your stress to keep clicking something. These pushes feel that way. You push, push them in and it's like that satisfying click. So this is start stop button, listen. It has such a satisfying click. And now let's try reset button. Start stop. Reset. They click so nicely. And this is a big thing. This is important. Because, well, let's be honest. This is analog watch. And this chronograph function is slightly gimmicky. The main function of this chronograph function is to look good and to feel good, like a toy. And it definitely feels like having a toy on the hand. You sometimes just want to unscrew these pushers and just play around. So speaking about the function, why I mentioned that it feels a little, it, it is a little bit gimmicky? Well, because it is. And uh, the reason why I bought this watch, because I never had analog chronograph watch before and I thought well, they are just gimmicky, why would I even bother? And I have to try out to really see what the things are. So, here it is. So, I have did some testing. I took a proper chronograph watch, like the proper stopwatch, and pushed them simultaneously at the same time, put them on the table, well, this one I put upside down, so I couldn't see the time. And after a while, I take, I, I come back and stop them both simultaneously again. So, and I try to read how much time have passed on this analog chronograph. And I did this testing like, well, I don't know, uh, seven, six times maybe. Well, that's enough, I would say. And I was right like around 50% of the time. So I try to tell the time how much time has passed there and I will say like 33 minutes and 14 seconds for example. And I check if I am correct. And 50% of the time I was not correct. And those times where I not correct, I was off by one minute. And that's, that's, that's let me tell you why. Because this little dial it accounts up to 60 minutes and the problem is take a look well first of all this dial shows you hours it shows 24 hours and it's not part of chronograph function this is seconds dial it just counts seconds it's also not part of chronograph function chronograph function is this dial and this seconds hand which when you stop and reset goes back to 12 and stays there this is chronograph function and you see it counts up to 60 minutes and the problem is when I stop for example at 16 minutes sometimes it's very difficult to tell it's 16 minutes or 17 minutes it's 33 minutes or 34 minutes and you kind of estimate so you have to say that this chronograph accuracy is plus minus one minute <laughs> up to one minute you can clearly tell a second by second very easily but when you speak about minutes eh, it's just plus minus one minute you know who cares <laughs> so all this chronograph really does it it looks incredibly nice wonderful it looks so nice that's what makes this watch that's why it looks so fancy and i kind of get it i kind of get it it's not for the function really it's it's a toy it feels great it's like if you're a geek like me and you like playing with things like this you're gonna love this watch it's amazing yeah it's gonna bother you a little bit if you're like me it kind of tingles my brain kind of hurts a little bit 
Why it's done in this way? It could be easily done in the way where I could use this chronograph function very accurately. And yes, it would only count only to six minutes then. Because if we would make this dial instead of 60 minutes, we would make six minutes and place very clear minute markers, you could use this chronograph function very accurately up to six minutes, but you still could use it very well. And right now it's just, yeah, it counts to 60 minutes, but it's like plus minus one minute. <laughs> so it's not a big deal, but I have to mention that that's, that's it about the chronograph. It looks good. It looks good. <laughs> and the second hand of chronograph, it looks so beautiful. It has counterweight balance little leaf and the top of the second hand of chronograph second hand is a little arrow and it is so sharply nicely done everything is so nicely done everything looks so good i love those black stripes on our and minted hands and those white loom stripes on our and minute hands looks very nice just because of that black stripe and this chronograph seconds hand is so nice everything is so nice about this watch okay so it looks good pushers feel great crown feels great it has sapphire it has uh, ceramic bezel it looks absolutely wonderful everything is very nicely finished no complaints and how it feels on the hand and the answer is it feels wonderful on the hand it feels very very nice very good it's very stable it doesn't feel wobbly doesn't feel heavy it sits flush and it's not very tall so it even it can actually fit under a cuff such a it's wonderful it's wonderful watch and it has one function which i like very much it's very convenient not like those uh diver extensions where you extend uh the the bracelet on your clasp and it extends by like one centimeter it's not really that usable in real life situations this clasp has this micro extension where you can extend your bracelet by just like look i'll try to show you how much this is not extended this is extended this is not extended this is extended and this tiny bit of extension is so great you adjust your bracelet on your hand when it's cold when your hand is not swollen and when it gets hot, your hand gets a little bit bigger. This extra extension serves the purpose perfectly fine. It's just the perfect amount of extension, I would say. It's wonderful. Great, great design. And using this function feels great. Everything is very kind of tight. It feels uh, made to great tolerances. It's very easy to clip it in and it even makes that satisfying clicking sound. Listen, I love things like this. It feels made so great, so great. And well, uh, you can see in the description the size of my wrist. And on my wrist, at first when I put it on my hand, it kind of looked, wow man, it's such a nice watch. It's, it's a shame. It's a little bit too large for me. When I look down on my wrist like that, it kind of looks a little bit big. But when I look like, like this in the mirror, it looks perfectly proportioned on my hand. And I couldn't understand what's the thing, why it kind of looks like when I look down, it looks big. And when I look to the mirror, it looks perfect. And it's actually the bracelet. First links of the bracelet when i look down on the watch i notice them very much and it kind of looks kind of big on my hand but when i look in the mirror i don't really see them and this and mostly i see the bezel and the face 
and it looks perfectly proportioned on my hand. And about those links, let's talk now while we measure the watch. Because you see, the lug to lug is one distance, but actually, these first links are going out a little bit out of the lugs and lug to lug distance if we measure these first links is a little bit bigger lug to lug is 48 millimeters which is not small i would say it's slightly bigger than medium but still very good size for my wrist very good size but if we measure these first links it's 53.2 millimeters and that's a little bit large that's a little, little bit large but uh, you know the watch itself on my hand is very sized very nicely because it is uh, 40 millimeters and the thickness of this watch is just 11.3 millimeters 11.3 which means it works very very nice on NATO straps but about that a little bit later the thing about NATO straps that they go straight down very nicely and there is no extra extension so it actually becomes 50 uh, 48 millimeters lug to lug instead of being 53 millimeters but about that a little bit later now let's talk about this bracelet while it is still on the watch. It has solid end links, solid links, and uh, adjusting the bracelet was very easy because it has screws. Those links are connected with screws and it's very easy to unscrew, remove one link and screw back in. And while this bracelet is still on the watch let's talk about this clasp and this clasp is also wonderful very nicely done clasp already talked talked about this micro extension which is wonderful and it looks very nice everything works very nice wonderful except one thing is a little bit controversial you know this clasp feels very good looks very good and it doesn't have micro adjustment holes on the side which is all right it looks great a clean design looks great and the problem is you see there are these little these little holes inside the clasp it's very tricky to micro adjust this clasp because the first link you are going to adjust has a hole only on one side so you kind of unclip this pin on this hole you put it sideways a little bit then you get the entrance to another side of this link then you unclip that one and you push it straight but it takes a little bit of uh, effort to figure that out and it's not very easy but the thing is you aren't gonna do that every day you aren't gonna do that every month and because it doesn't have holes this clasp looks very clean and elegant and that's all right for me i'm not giving negative points because it's difficult to micro adjust because you do it just once and you fine and this clasp looks very nice so all great and you probably want to see how it looks like without the bracelet and it looks very good everything looks very nice and this case back it's screw in, screwed in case back and all the engrovings are done so nicely it feels a little bit sharp slightly but it doesn't annoy my hand and it looks very nice let's move on to the nato straps the first strap i'm putting on this watch is this one and it livens up the look of this watch by a lot it looks a lot sportier a lot more casual 
not so luxurious, not so fancy anymore, and looks a little bit cute even. I like how it looks like. Here it is on the hand. Doesn't really go well with the shirt, but with a hoodie or a sweatshirt, t-shirt would be would look amazing. And this strap looks so good on the swatch that it, it looks almost stock. It looks like it came out like this out of the factory. It looks like a default choice for this watch. And it looks looks good. Looks good. Just looks very good. And the thing is when I put this watch on NATO straps, it doesn't look too big from any angle I look at it. It doesn't look too big for my hand. And it looks very nice with this strap. Wonderful. And because it doesn't have belly, the case back isn't like a belly, it's all flat. It fits very and sits very, very nicely on NATO straps. It's very stable. It doesn't feel top heavy at all. Doesn't feel heavy at all. And it just feels very good on the hand. Works very well with NATO straps. But let's put on something different. And this is the first watch, which I like how it looks like on this uh, rubber strap. This strap is very, very soft. I paid just like, I don't remember, 3 euros, 2 euros on eBay. And it's very good quality, very tangible, very, very soft r rubber strap. And this is the first watch. Which I actually like how it looks like on this rubber strap. It just shows how versatile this watch actually is. Any strap you put on this watch, it looks good. It looks good, everything works with it, with this watch. And that's how it looks like on a bracelet with straight ends. And this is one of my favorite bracelets. I put this bracelet on, on almost all of my watches. I love it. Brushed finish, straight end links, and it also looks very nice on this watch as well. And looks alright, looks very good. This watch is so versatile, I mean, it, it just looks good, it looks good. It's like a piece of jewelry. So that's that's kind of it. I mentioned all the things. If you have questions, leave a comment. And uh, do I see any negative points in this watch? Honestly, no. It, it's, it's amazing. For under 100 euros, this kind of a watch, so sharp looking, it's, it's incredible. Absolutely incredible. I mean, it has sapphire crystal, ceramic bezel. It looks this sharp. Everything feels so good. Wow, <laughs> it's great. And, and it looks more like a jewelry than a watch. <laughs> it's so nice. Everything so nice. Yes, this chronograph function, you know, chronograph with an accuracy plus minus one minute. <laughs> well, at least, at least it looks very good. And that's it. Do I recommend this watch? Oh, yes, definitely, definitely. If you have doubts, yes, just go for it. I'm, I, I'm not sure about a white dial. I haven't seen it in person. I just have heard that it looks like a paper, a white paper. I'm not sure. I just figure it out by yourself. But this black dial looks absolutely incredible. It is shiny mirror finish, has curves. It looks wonderful. This watch is amazing. I highly recommend it. Okay, guys. Thank you for watching. Have a nice day. Goodbye.